Hello again, this is another very quick um, video to show what's what's going through the painting desk at the moment. I hope these don't get too boring, but I do manage to knock out quite a lot of painting over the course of each week. Um, so here, what we see here, this week has been um, commission painting. Um, it's, a, it's a new one, customer Stephen. Um, we've agreed 16 strips, which is two battalions of infantry per month going forward. Um, these are the 51st Regiment, two battalions, all old epics of course. Um, you, you know, there's a fair bit of detail in them, but the second battalion, oh, I can't see properly with the light, has the uh, standard, uh, um, the standard bearers, uh, eagle is removed and replaced with a spearhead for the Fanion, second battalion Fanion. First battalion, of course, with the eagle, um, and these are pretty much as requested. Um, grenadiers at the right of the regiment, as you um, as you look at them from the rear. Uh, light company on the left. Um, I put a fair amount of work into these. There's quite a lot of work goes into these for for such tiny figures. Decided against trying to do brass barrel bands because I just find that it always looks messy. So look, I'll go in there as close as I can. Um, uh, a variation of great coat colours. Um, and there we go. So I'm just going to pack those up in a minute, get those back to him. This week I'm going on for, oh, my year long customer Noel now, uh, English Civil War epic. I can shot, and you can see again my standard method now of the black base coat with a brown, flat brown dry brush. And then I've just started to work up the horse colour. So basically, you know, you can do anything for, over that flat brown, as I said previously. Sort of, you know, literally just started those. Oh, they'll be finished at the end of the day. That's a regiment of 10. There you see, starting to build up a, a, a grey. That's actually ivory, just uh, so yeah, that's them. Um, for myself, I've been doing American War of Independence. This is actually about two weeks. Um, I'm doing bases of 10 figures, eight for light company. Um, yeah, so this is only about two weeks so far. Bearing in mind that um, I tend to paint Monday to Friday for commission through till about four o'clock. And then I do a bit for myself in the afternoon. I rarely paint anything after five o'clock in the evening. By then I'm all painted out. Um, but if I just go in there, you know, going along the line of the militia there, that's the one I painted yesterday, just near the basin is finished. Butler's Rangers. No, not the American Light Infantry. Butler's Rangers. Um, line Infantry in uh, round hats, cut down tricles, of course. Full dress, just off the boats, guards at the back. Continentals, the next the next big bash is gonna be loads more continental bases. Uh, riflemen, long rifles, hunting rifles, light infantry. So I really enjoy myself doing these and you can see if I just go along here. Um, they're rather insulting flags, uh, suggesting nasty things are done to the British. Um, <laughs> I do understand that. It's a, it's a fascinating period of history. Eight eight years of really terrible conflict, um, terrible casualties. Um, but I'm only planning to do twelve bases per side for um, DBN variant, the American War of Independence. All I can do for myself these days is to paint. Um, is to do so, um, what I'm really interested in is what I call card table or battles. Um, I have a lovely old wooden card table, folding legs. It's two foot by two foot. Sorry if the camera's shaking a bit there. Um, no, two foot six by two foot six in old money. And my plan is to try to get as much gaming out of that small table as I can. Excuse the noise in the background. I think they're collecting the recycling. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, today, finished more Peter Pigs. Right, start again. Finish more epic pike and shot. That's a regiment of ten for now. More Peter Pigs. That's the sixth base of militia, which will finish, I think, militia. 
Uh, these are being packed up for posting back today. And um, then we've got to, you know, for basically for the, that's the rest of this week, this batch from Noel. Um, so yeah, it ticks over nicely, as I say. I don't really paint much a week here. I only do the commission work Monday to Friday. Supplements the pension very nicely. Um, I enjoy doing it, and I get to do something for myself. Right, now let's just pull up a couple of more close-ups, just to show you how I do these, you know. It's about as, I know, but you could really, go, you could go further, I guess, you could go further, but I only charge £10 a strip for these, and the Polyonics take quite a lot of work. Um, and really, when they're based up, they're tiny little figures, you know, you lose so much of the detail, the rear and frontal detail. Um, I'd be very keen to have a go at some of the the, um, the new uh, Punic Warriors, the Romans in particular. I love the way they rank up, the three ranks. Um, it's a period I'm interested in as well. But I just don't want to get into it for myself. I think for myself I've decided that I'm going to stick with Peter Pig going forward. Um, I absolutely really love the sculpting style of these figures. And I hadn't realised until yesterday that their, their new Ancients range is as extensive as it is. I would say these are possibly, let me just pick up quickly the Butler's Rangers, one of my favourite units. Yeah. Down with King George, it says. Uh, Butler's Rangers are a really colourful unit, green coats. And get them in focus. And there we go. That's it for now, thanks for watching. Back soon with another update. Bye.